Hey, a pleasant good evening, Royals fans. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and the Royals squeak out a 3-2 to two win, battering into the end by a snipe from Garrett Sissery, an earlier snipe in the second period by Patty Bykoff, who's getting hot, and if he gets hot, that's going to be killer for this team going forward. And, of course, the winning goal by Trevor Gooch, who comes back over from overseas, as Dylan was talking about Krokok probably going overseas when we get Gooch back, and he's doing wonders on the team early on thus far. And also... <clears throat> Um, Garrett McFadden, one of the many Garretts in the team, of course, Garrett Cockerell injured, we brought back, who's going to come in soon as well. Um, he looked pretty good in this game, cycle in the puck as well, I thought, but also, before I continue, please continue to subscribe down below, or up on the easy-to-use widget at the end to keep showing the love and support and help us get to the end of the January goal of 195. This was one of those games that, for the Royals, for a while, looked like it was going to fall into the category of those really frustrating, or losses, excuse me, that could have been wins, similarly to the last game. Um, against the Wooster Railers, where they ended up losing 5-3, were up a couple times, uh, did not capitalize on enough chances to be able to get that win, and then somehow Wooster was able to be opportunist, basically, and get the goals there. Well, I'm always one of the ones that, like Kirk McDonald, the Royals coach even says, shots are kind of a blah, flat step, because you have to capitalize on the shots, and you have to be efficient on the shots to get goals. Obviously, on almost 50 shots, three goals is not that um, efficient, but also... A big part of that <clears throat> um, isn't necessarily just the Reading Royals uh, struggling. It would be also the fact that the Wooster Railers goaltender and netminder of the St. Louis Blues organization, uh, Cole Nellis, was having the game of his life uh, for them as well. But it just fits into that category. We don't want to have those losses where it looked like you outplayed them last game but gave up the lead a couple times, couldn't battle back, and lost to Wooster again. That kind of looked like this what this game was going to fall into. And then, as the great Pat Richards said, they rose from the Phoenix from the dead, basically, to win this game. On the snipe from Cicero at the end, Trevor Gooch had a great move, taking it himself, saying, I don't need to pass this puck. I'm just going to take it myself from my own zone. And then is able to snipe it in himself. This is 3 10 out of 10 shots by the Royals, so when they had the shot big time, they nailed it, um, but obviously you want to be able to score going forward a little bit more capitalized and be a little bit more efficient, like Pat brought up the stats of Wooster, their efficiency was a lot better on their shots, where that's a reason why it was so frustrating uh, watching it as a Reading fan, because you would think they should win this game a lot easier because of the shots they had in last game, they should have won because of the shots they had in the play they had. But that's not the way the cookie crumbles. That's not the way the sports is all the time. But it's great to see the resilience. I used that in my preview. Um, the resilience of this team to be able to just battle to the end. Get the snipe from Cicery, one of the many Garrets in the organization between the Phantoms and um, Royals, and get the snipe from him. And then you're able to get the snipe from Trevor Gooch, who's one of the most efficient players since coming back on our Reading Royals. Um, and is a huge welcome back into the team as well, just like Garrett Cockerell will be soon to join the Legion of the Garrets. And then I thought Karo Ustamenko looked very good as well. He had absolutely <clears throat> um, no help on the one Smotherman goal on the turnover, and then he made a great first save, and then there's nobody there to block out the rebound, and then the first Smotherman goal, realistically, this was a game um, that Redding with that Cicery goal actually really should have won, and it should have been a 2-1 to -one win for them, because Smotherman's second goal that I just described on the rebound should have been his first. I don't know how they allowed that first goal. Um, He was pushing in on Karo Ustamenko's pad and just forcing it almost into the net. That's supposed to not be a goal, but it is what it is. The Reading Royals battle all the way back. Um, and it's a game that didn't look like things were going the right way and nothing was happening. And then all of a sudden, everything happens for the Reading Royals. Kind of a metaphor to life, too, right? Sometimes things just start happening. And that's what happened for the Reading Royals. Um, in this one, assistory again, able to get the late goal. Um, and then you're able to have Trevor Gooch win it. Karo Ustamenko had a great return to Reading. Didn't get helped out enough on a couple of the plays there uh, by the defense. Even on the play in front, that should have been called back. You should be able to block out Smotherman there as well a little bit if you're the Royals defense and not allow him to hound at your goaltender's pad like that. But all in all, this was a game that resilience was the word again to describe for the Reading Royals or perseverance, whatever one you want to use, because they battled through and they were able to win it. It wasn't an easy win, but they were able to get it done. And our Reading Royals are going to look <clears throat> um, to keep their success going tomorrow 
as they play the same Worcester Railers team at 7 p.m. tomorrow night. So hopefully the Railers are able to continue to struggle against this Royals team in terms of limiting their shot and struggle bunny on defense so the Royals can keep pushing the pace. But of course, going forward, we would like to see them be a little bit more efficient and not have us have these heart attack type games till the end um, where we have all the shots in the world but not all the goals in the world. So we were able to get it done in this game. Love the way that... um. Gooch was able to play in this game as a whole, and then he was able to get rewarded with the goal in OT. Loved the way Bykoff played in this totality of the game, and then loved the way that Cicery played for most of the game as well, was able to get rewarded with the goal as well. And then I thought Garrett McFadden in his two games has looked very good as well, and obviously he got recognized coming out of Acadia up there in Nova Scotia because he got signed already to an AHL contract after playing one ECHL game. So stay safe out there, everybody. This has been a reaction to the Great Royals 3-2 win. Wasn't easy. It was one of those games that really stresses out the fans of the end because you have all the shots in the world, couldn't get it. the goals going until literally the bitter end where like pat richards said you rise from the phoenix from the dead to win this game peace out everybody stay safe please continue to subscribe down below go royals let's keep the winning ways going tomorrow peace out everybody